<laughs> Hi, this is The Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my channel and uh, taking a look at my videos and supporting me the way you do. I'm really, really grateful. Now, I gotta tell you, occasionally, somebody will send me something that I have no idea what it is. They'll call and say, hey, uh, Joel, can we send you a product review? And I'll say, sure. And the next thing you know, it shows up in the mail, and I don't know what it is. Well, this thing behind me is one of those. So let's take a look at that. This, this box has got to weigh... I don't know, 175, 200 pounds. So the guy, the guy at the at the uh, mailboxes place where we have things shipped calls me up and says, "All right, Joel, I've got this thing. I don't know what it is, but can you come get it? It's huge. It's in my way." So I went and got it. And I got it back to the house. I had to have a dolly to get it because it's pretty big. And then I'm looking at the box, and it doesn't it doesn't say where it's from or from whom. Although there's a packing slip, but I haven't opened it yet. So I don't know, I don't know what I got here. I got a big box and three little boxes and I have no idea what it is. So I'm gonna open it up and I'm not gonna bore you with watching me open it up. And once it's opened up, I'll show you what the pieces are and I'll be able to tell you what it is. One thing's for sure I know, nothing's, nothing's ticking. <laughs> so I should be safe. I'll be back in a minute once we get it all uh, opened up and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I've gotten it all out of the box now. It took me about, I don't know, about an hour and 15 minutes or something because I had to break up all the cardboard and get it in the bin and like that. And that takes a little time. But as you can see, I got a lot of parts down here on the floor, lots of little bins and that kind of stuff and bits and pieces. And then over here against the wall, uh, I've got the door and the back and the sides. And you can see that I just stacked the sides up here next to each other. So... Um, what it is, essentially, is a gun cabinet. <laughs> no wonder it weighed a ton. Not, I don't know if it qualifies as a gun safe. I would say it does not qualify as a fire retardant gun safe. Uh, this is the Agile 52 gun cabinet from Secure It. First thing I'm impressed about, just so you know, is the way they package it. This thing was packaged so well. It was, uh, it was packaged so well, I can't imagine what you could have done to it to damage anything because it was packaged in such an incredible, robust uh, fashion that it would have taken a lot to damage it. And as a result, there's not a scratch on it. It came out, out of the packaging perfect. The other thing I noticed is that the instructions, for which I'm very grateful, are very detailed. And, and I gotta tell you, sometimes I get instructions for stuff and you go, okay, these are written and these were written by somebody who English is their third language and I have no idea what they're talking about. These are very clear and should be very easy to follow to put it together. Now, it'll probably take me an hour or two, I would imagine, if I take my time, go get a cup of coffee or what, whatever in the middle uh, to get it together. But once it's together, I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. Now, one, a couple of things I just want to talk about gun safes in general. I got to be honest with you. I don't think gun safes generally do what they say they're going to do anyway. And I'm not picking on a gun safe company. I'm just telling you, I've known, well, I've known three people off the top of my head who have had a fire in their garage or a fire in their house. In one case, it destroyed the whole house. In another case, the garage was gone. And they had the fire safe or the fire retardant or, or whatever gun safe there. And you know what? It, it, the gun safe was history and so were all the guns inside. In every case, the safe did not protect the gun. So I think that's a very limited thing. And sometimes I think it's a marketing thing. I'm not sure they do quite what they say they're gonna do. The other thing is that I got to tell you, I've seen a lot of demonstrations of people breaking into gun safes. So really what I'm looking for is more something that's going to keep the honest people honest and delay whoever is going to try to steal the guns long enough for the cops to get here because the alarm went off. Uh, I'm not expecting it to protect them during a fire because I, it, in my experience, nothing does. And I'm not expecting it to be, uh, you know, like the, the vault at Fort Knox that's going to keep every criminal in the world out. It isn't. Uh, and that's just been my experience with, uh, with gun safes. But anyway, I'm, I'm fired up with this as a result. As you can see, it does not have a lining in it. So there's no um, fire retardant protection in it. So if you have a fire in your house, whatever's in it is going to be toast. But I'm just here to tell you that's probably going to happen anyhow. All right, I'm going to go put it together. And as soon as I get it together, I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, we'll see how good it is. So far, pretty darn bueno. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, you know, it took an hour or so to put together. It's, you know, I wasn't in any big hurry. It's pretty simple. You don't need much in the way of tools. Uh, really, you're looking at one 10 millimeter wrench or 10 millimeter socket 
a little flashlight so you can see what you're doing. And uh, pretty much that's it. And then you can open it a couple different ways. It's got a keypad. It also give you a couple of extra keys as backups in case the battery dies or you want to just open it up with the key. You can do that. And then when you open the door, there is a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom and a bolt in the middle there. That's where the battery goes. And it, <laughs> it comes together really well. Now, what I, I thought was really cool about it is it's very modular. Now, I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six long guns and four handguns in the safe right now. But you don't have to do it that way. It also comes with, it comes with enough to do that, but you also have all kinds of options. You can get this metal tray, which will mount on the back. You can get bins, this really big one. This is the largest one. And they come with these little inserts in the middle that you can put in or take out so you can divide the bins up. And they also have a little smaller size like this one. And again, you got the little insert and the smallest one like this one, which again has a little insert. There's also these little pistol holders in here that are kind of cool. And they're just a, a little, uh, let me see if I can slide one out. They're just this little thing, which when you fit it in the right position on the slots in the back, you can just slide the barrel right onto that little peg and it's padded so it doesn't damage your rifling or anything. And now you've got your handguns in there. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. It locks up tight, it's sturdy as sturdy could be. I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> very impressed. I like the modular aspect of it. So if you have a small apartment or a smaller house like I do, or you just got a small space, this is a great option from Secure It. Now they've got other options as well. From what I understand, this is not the only one. I was looking at their website. There's, there's quite a number of things that they build and things that they do. This is a great product. It's really easy to put together. It takes a little bit of you know, effort, but not a whole lot. And, uh, and honestly, it's solid as a rock. And I like the fact that it's really set up well to be modular and it houses the guns very well. Even the little feet on the bottom that, that allow you to set the gun, set the, the, uh, the heel of the stock in the various different little places, those kind of join together and you can take some out, put some back or whatever you want to do. The whole thing is like a big Lego. Very, very cool. Anyway, there it is. That's the Secure It uh, Agile 53, 52 gun cabinet. They have others. This is not the only one. They actually have gun racks that go up on the wall and that kind of stuff. Very cool. Check them out. The, the link is in the description. Now, YouTube's kind of kooky about links right now, so I don't know if I can put it in the description of the YouTube video itself. Uh, if I can get away with it, I will. Otherwise, you will also find this same video on Daily Motion, on BitChute, and soon on Vimeo. And the links for those where you can find this video will also be in the links uh, in YouTube. So if you, you want to find the link to this and you can't find it for some reason, uh, you may have to go to our website or you may have to go to those other videos and you'll find it in the description there at those other platforms if YouTube won't allow me to do it. Right now, what they will allow and what they won't allow where links are concerned is kind of sketchy. And I don't want to have the YouTube channel go away. So be aware of that. If you can't find the link for some reason, it is in other places. You certainly will find it on our website. I'm going to write a little article about this uh, probably this weekend. So I'll have it up there about the time that this video goes live. And so you'll find the links in that article as well. Hey, listen, thank you again. I really do appreciate it. Have a great week. And no pun intended, but please <laughs> be safe.